three, two. Welcome back to Trip Talk. We are in the building of the J Walk Skills Camp. And today I'm joined by the number eight pick of the 2023 NBA Draft. PA Slash people on Jared's Walk. Who is that, man? Hey, I'm good, I'm good. All right, first of all, how does it feel being the first top 10 pick out of the University at uh, Houston? Now look, for the people that aren't familiar with that Vigo Pump, or should I say Baltimore brand of basketball, you know, coming up to PA and then coming down to Baltimore and, and getting this style of ball, like, can you tell the fans, how did that help you develop that display? Honestly, I don't think I would have made it if I ain't come to the city. Honestly, like, just that, that, that grit, that hard nose, that, that heart that you need to be able to move here, like, how does it feel to come back to Baltimore, give back to the community, inspire these next set of youth that they see you, they want to be like you? I saw you outside teaching them how to scream, understanding how to throw stick passes. You know, how does it feel to inspire and be that guy? That's, that's awesome. You know what I mean? Like that's why I do what I do. Just be able to get back. Obviously, support my family, make sure they're healing, but just being able to talk, having many people in the spot, we'll be able to talk about it. So, I mean, just being able to be here today, like, not just having the camp, but being here so long, but having the kids, just sitting there. Look, you're very well-spoken young man. I've seen a couple interviews, just getting to know you here a couple hours. But for the ball is out there, you know, that obviously, they hooping, 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 hooping all day long. Can you just lightly touch on the importance of education and how it's important along your journey? Alright, eligibility is real. Like, especially when you get to college, so you're not taking care of what you're supposed to. Like, you're not even going to be able to work. You're spending a lot of time the gym and put the lights on or ESPN and stuff like that. So I feel like taking care of business off the court first is really how you make a step or something. Oh man, oh man. Crystal ball time. Now, I'm from Baltimore. From a Baltimore standpoint, like I told you outside, defensive player of the year, rookie of the year, and we shoot for MVP. But, <laughs> but, but in Jarrett's world, how do you see the, the next season playing out? Oh, honestly, a successful season is just coming in, impact winning. Honestly, just doing whatever I can, whether it's defense, rebounding, you know, making the right call, making the right call. I'm a pretty versatile player, so whatever my team. Little son is a Jarrett Walker fan, and I asked him, I said, Look, I'm gonna get up the interview in the mug. Give me a question that you want me to ask. You know what he came back with at 12 a.m. last night? He said, Outside of the draft, what's been the greatest moment of your career? Like that. that was a good question, like Brandon. <laughs> That's a great question. Um, I would say that college experience, okay. college experience was one of the ones that I've been able to travel around the country, the uh, new guys, the teams, new systems, I'll be able to grow, develop, and just like Mr. Bob, like we was with each other every day, competing, playing the game, going out together, just enjoying ourselves. So just the bond of relationship you build from um, yeah, throughout college is just real. That's what's up, that's what's up. Now look, I'm gonna let you get out of here. I know you got a team to coach. Last question. We ask all our guests on Trip Talk Tip. Favorite pair of kicks of all time. Ooh, that was good. Oh, you can say it, UA brand. <laughs> 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 Jordan Lemons, but you ain't always first, right? We know. Always first. 